In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the way the design of your mesh can really affect the influence of the wind upon the mesh when we turn these into cloth objects. So first thing, let's take this back plane here and we'll just subdivide it. Give it enough activity like this. All right, and then for this one here, we'll subdivide, subdivide it differently. All right, we'll go into, instead of uh, pressing W, I'll bring up the toolbar and I'll bring up our loop cut tool. Alright, so I'll subdivide it here, say like this, and then I'll bring up my loop cut. Let's see, Control R. Maybe a little bit less. Okay, just about like that in this direction. So we have two of them subdivided differently. All right, so now let's add one wind effector over here. We'll just add, we'll add it directly to the scene. We'll add a force field, which should add an empty at the same time. And then we'll rotate it on X and give it some strength. Let's see where it's located. We'll just place it in between the two since they're both on the same layer. And of course, now we're going to need to do something with these guys first before we can affect it with the wind. So let's go back into here first. And we need to create a vertex group like we've done before. And I want to just grab this first row here and pin it. We'll use the... Uh, turn them off. We'll use C tool this time and just grab them like this. Just as it. Okay, and I'll create a vertex group. Have to escape that. I'll call this purple. And that'll have a weight of one. And then I'll select the inverse. And I'll give that a weight of point 0.1. Okay, and assign that. All right, then we can leave that. Then over here, same thing. And I'll call this one yellow. And I'll give that a weight of one. Pin those down as well. and I'll select the inverse control I. That'll give these a smaller weight and assign those. Okay, so now they have two different weights assigned. Still nothing's gonna happen. We don't have, we don't have them set as cloth effects yet, so then we're gonna come into the physics button over here. And we'll make this, this one cloth and I'm gonna get the purple group for that one, make this one cloth and I'm going to get the yellow group for that and use the defaults otherwise. Alright, let's run it and see what happens. Alright, so notice the difference. One comes up really flaps hard towards the end because of the placement of the vertices like this and this one over here wants to the whole thing, you know, falls more like a flag or something of that nature like this so your mesh can make a huge difference in the effect of the winds on the particles okay well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson